as we send it over to Kayla. All right, Pascal, with this win, and we will unpack it after this question, the Raptors do lock in a postseason position. When you think about what the conversation was about this group at the start of the season, you coming off your shoulder injury, COVID-19, when you have the three games left, what does this group have to remember about itself to close out the regular season? Uh, we know we're a resilient group, you know, like no matter the adversity, no matter what we go through individually or as a team, like we continue to fight and, uh, you know, we got to keep doing that. Now that, you know, it's going to be postseason, it's going to be the most important games, like these three games or whatever, three or four games are important and we got to keep going, keep getting better. You know, when you think about the drought in the fourth quarter, also the three ball not getting going your way, what did this team lean on in terms of defense with the adjustments to get this thing locked up? Uh, we just got to get it stops. You know, we, we had good shots on the other end. You know, it didn't go in, but at the end of the day, you know, if we continue to play how we play, get our defense, you know, right, you know, we can always stop people. And, and at the end of the day, if they don't score, you know, it's, it's, we can still win. I got to ask you about Chris Boucher because your two-man tandem has really been improving over the last little while. Those big threes, to have someone like there that can make those big shots, how important is that? Yeah, shout out to Chris, man. He played super well tonight. Um, took the open shots, made them. Uh, and I think that when he's aggressive on both sides of the floor, like, he's always special, you know. So, um, you know, shout out to him. Pascal, congratulations. Thank Kate, you. over to you.